you know, very quickly, we're able to generate different keyword ideas so you can explore more and also how to write product descriptions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI to generate keyword ideas and product descriptions in just a couple minutes. This is going to be a huge time saver for anyone looking to improve their SEO or just creating compelling product listings. And the introduction I just made right now is actually through this AI program called ChatGPT. All I said was create a YouTube video introduction for this YouTube title and it put out this information. Okay. So this video, I'm going to go over how to use this tool for your own Etsy shop, the different ways you can use it and just the capabilities of it. It's actually insane. This is going to be a super, super helpful one for you. So you want to make sure you stay to the end for this one. This is a free tool right now that you can use and I'll have a link for the website. It's chat.openai.com. But yeah, anyone can sign up for it right now. It's free. It hasn't been out for that long. So I definitely highly recommend using it, not just for Etsy, but just in general. The more you look into it, the more you realize how much you can use it for. And basically all you do is there's a chat box at the bottom. You just type in maybe a question or a request, getting some ideas of what you want. And it's just like an interactive feedback where they instantly will respond to you. So this video won't be too long. I'm just going to go over some use cases that you can use right now for your Etsy shop. So for the first example that a lot of people are wondering is how do I get more keyword ideas? How do I generate if I have a product in mind? So let's say I'm selling printable wedding planners. I want to get some more ideas of different ways to put in the titles and tags. So all I'm going to do here is just type in and you type in enter. And it just takes a couple seconds for ChatGPT to maybe curate from online using their crazy AI tech, which I don't not too familiar with. But look at this, just instantly, I didn't even speed up this video, but instantly it gave me a bunch of different keyword ideas that you can use. Wedding planner templates, wedding checklist, organization tools, right? And then now you can use these if you want further information. You can either add ask the chat here or you can put it into E-Rank or Sales Samurai to get more data from it. And let's get another example. So for people who are in another digital product idea. So same thing, right? This is just a topic of an idea. And right now we just want to see what are some other keywords we can research. Maybe it gives us different suggestions and categories on how to use this for portraits, landscapes, weddings, for travel. Okay. So this came out a bit of a different idea, which is actually really good for the topic. But as you can see, you might not want to use this as a keyword, but you might want to get inspirations and ideas of use cases, right? So in case you're not familiar with what Lightroom presets are, these are Lightroom presets. One way to use the suggestions that ChatGPT said is use these for mock-up ideas, food photography, lifestyle, fashion. Okay, so over here, everyone's doing more lifestyle shots. Maybe there's a demand for food bloggers, different things like that to use it in the images, different use cases, or put them into the keywords, right? So although it wasn't the same as this one, doing actual keywords to use in your titles and tags, which you can still use in here, but also gives you other ideas on how you can represent your products into the designs, into the digital product itself. So it kind of cool that this came out, it wasn't part of the plan for the video, but here's another use case you can use. And let's try something else. So we talked about descriptions. How do you turn these keywords into the descriptions? So let's go ahead and last week, last week or two, I created a video talking about how to research different keywords and how to put it in your titles and tag. And the example I was using was for a dual wooden monitor, which is something I sold in one of my stores. So I'm going to use this based on the keywords I searched from that video and create a product description from this. So the keywords I used were All right, that's it. Create a product description with the keywords with these ones. And let's just see what it does. And every time it generates this, you never get the same result every time you type it in. So if you like something, you definitely want to copy this and paste it. Actually, later on, I'll talk about the use cases in terms of where you can use these for. Actually, let's take a look here. Introducing the perfect addition to your home office setup. Dual monitor stand with high quality wood. This wooden monitor riser is not only functional. Dual monitor. This is super crazy. Not only does this rise improve your economic, it's kind of nuts. The importance of like when you do descriptions, right? You definitely want to add in the keywords. So it's cool that they're able to implement them in this description. And you might not actually want to use this exactly word for word. You'd still want to maybe edit it, modify a bit more. 
if you can, just because if someone else uses the same input, they'll probably get something quite similar, but it's a good starting point, right? For your descriptions and literally took minutes, seconds or for this whole video, but let's, let's go a little bit deeper, right? So one way is to describe your products, but another way is to convey it in a better way, why the customer should use this product, right? And let's type this in. So, and what's cool about it is that it tracks the conversation, this log. And so you don't have to input a new one every single time. You can you ask this question and it'll know that you're referencing the ones above. Okay. So why would someone use this product? This gives you, gives you more ideas on why you want to explain your product in your descriptions, maybe in your photos and different things like that. All right. So there are several reasons why someone might use this product. The dual monitor stand is, is designed to, to improve ergonomics by elevating the monitors, right? So very cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna read this whole thing but it's actually insane to use cases. So, you know, very quickly, we're able to generate different keyword ideas so you can explore more and also how to write product descriptions. So you definitely want to modify it a bit, even though you can use this currently, you can use this by itself, but I do recommend changing it up a bit and definitely review it before we put it up in case there are anything that's not the same or incorrect for your category. But that is pretty much it. I want to do one last one and let's just see if it works. So. I'm going to type in this video title. I'm just curious because I'm still very new to this whole AI technology of doing images, doing text for script writing, copywriting. And this is something that I'm playing around for last week and it's super fun. I want to share with you guys. Hopefully this will help you. Well, I know it will help you because I'm going to be implementing this as well as part of just my journey on the e-com world. So let's say thanks for watching our video on how to generate your ideas. We hope you find this information useful and that it will help you improve your SEO and create compelling product listings. So if you want to learn more about AI and how to benefit your business, be sure to check out my other videos. And if you have any questions, feedback, just leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I truly do. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips and advice. I will see you in the next video. I don't know how I know that's how I do it, but that was perfect. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick AI one. And if you want to learn more about how you can implement AI into your strategy in terms of your workflow on how to create better products, listings, and just general things, right? You can use this for your about page, maybe generate new FAQ ideas, sections. Like I'm just thinking about this right now on top of my head, but there are a lot of other use cases. And oh, and one last thing, I do want to shout out one of my YouTube subscribers that brought this topic up to me. So I don't want to say the name in case you don't want me to say your name, but yeah, it was someone that told me about how I should make a video on this topic. Just want to do a quick shout out. Thank you for suggesting this idea for this video. That's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.